Welcome back everybody. In the last video we got set up with Android, last couple of videos we got set up with Android Studio and we set up the project and you're probably wondering what all of this does or maybe your screen doesn't even look like this. Maybe it looks like this or maybe it looks like this. This is all kind of code. So I'm going to briefly go over kind of what this all is. This is all Android Studio and this is the code that you write to create an Android app. So everything you see here somebody typed out for you and you don't have to type it out yourself because it's already here. If you want to delete something, it's just kind of like an email. You can select some text and get rid of it. You'll notice numbers here on the left side. Those are kind of called the line numbers. So like if you if it says there's an error on line 25, you can go, oh, 25, okay. There's an error on line 25. So you can kind of know what it is. This is what code looks like. And the good news is you don't have to know very much of it. You can just know a little bit and Android Studio will help you out with something called hinting where you can like start typing something and it'll help you out. So we'll get we'll get into that what that all means later, but let's go ahead and do something. You should have the content main open up. You should see some tabs near the top of your page on the top of Android Studio and it kind of looks like this, like main activity and content main. So click on the content main tab and then on the bottom you can switch between text mode and design mode. So let's make sure you're in design mode. So go ahead to design mode and if there's not enough room you can like move some of these panels over and you can close some of them by clicking on them like that icon there for example. But this is good enough for here. So see this is kind of like the basic layout of an app. It has the toolbar at the top, it has the time and battery and Wi-Fi signals there, it has a back button, a home button, the task button. So this is kind of the beginning of an Android app. So how can we modify this? So let's go ahead and do something. See where it says hello world? Click on it. Oh and I should note that if you don't have contact main opened up here, go to the left side and make sure project is open up and make sure you're in the Android mode. Then click on app, open up app, and then resource it, res, re, rest for resources, layouts, and then double click content main and it'll open up here. So that's how you get to it. Okay, now that with that open, and make sure you're not in text mode, this is kind of like for experts to do fine grain control. We don't need to do that right now. All we need is the basics. So go ahead and click on design mode, and go ahead and just click on hello world, and you can see it has these kind of blue lines. It's kind of saying, hey, what's, that might look a little bit confusing to you, but that's kind of what helps it lay out. Like say we want to move this up to the top of the screen or whatever. It's kind of like it's like kind of like click and drag. You can click and drag it wherever you want to put it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the right and see how we have a bunch of options here. If you don't see options, you may need to you may look like that. So it may look like attributes. Click on attributes and then you can switch back and forth between everything and just some of the items. So yeah, so just make sure again if you see attributes there, hit attributes to open it up, and then you can go back and forth between this toggle right there where it's every possible thing you can modify and versus just the, the important ones. So let's go ahead and put hello world. Let's just put it up in the top left. We'll do that for now. And now if you come over to the right, you'll see, hey, there's hello world. So again, make sure you're in the right one. Uh, click hello world and let's do this. Let's do, hello, let's do, uh, let's get rid of that. Oops, I messed up a little bit. Okay, let's do this. Let's do, let's do, um, hello, Daniel, or whatever your name is. So now it says, hello, Daniel, there. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So there should be a text size here. So look for text size, click on it, and let's make it, let's make it really big. Let's make it 36 SP. So here's the beginning of our app. So you might notice this is a little bit messy. You can kind of like position it around. You can kind of play with it if you want. Put it up near the bottom, put it near the top, whatever you want, doesn't matter. Um, so in this video, we kind of learned how to how to kind of interact with the screen that you want. So also, you'll notice in text mode, you don't have that attributes panel over to the right. You just have it in design mode. So de design mode can be really helpful. And again, there's also this panel on the left here, which might be closed. So if you do, if it's closed, you can just hit palette, and that'll open it back up. You can kind of toggle between hiding and showing it. And you can actually drag a button on the screen. So see where it says a button here under common, and then button. You can click a, you can make, drag a button down on your screen, and there it is. And say we want an image, also we can drag an image there. So I'll put an image there. It's asking us what we want. I'll just cancel that for now. Um, we can put a text view. A text view is just for text. So if you want to type some text there, you can say, you know, uh, so you can type some random text there, and that that'll show up there. Um, so button, you can add buttons on your screen. And so this is getting kind of messy, but say, you know, whatever you're working on, say you need two buttons for something, um, you can click, you can drag a button. So click and drag from there, click and drag onto the screen. 
then you'll have options over to the right which kind of help you out. So see where it says button? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do let's do um, contact us. So that'll be the contact us. Oops, did I mess it up? I think I did. Okay, cool. That's the, yeah, contact us. Okay, so select it again. I have something on my computer. So there's your contact us, your contact us button. And you can kind of play around with it if you want. Like, see all this stuff you can do. There's text, there's like a font family, there's text size. You can change the size to something a little bit bigger if you want. You can even change the background color. Just click on that right there. Um, you can select a color or you can type it in. I'll type in. CE0000, enter. And that looks kind of weird, it looks red, but that kind of means it's, it's that's the red color there. And you can click on the color, and I think there's a way to do it. I usually do it in, I usually do it in, uh, I usually do it a different way, so I don't really do this. But say you want to make it orange, you can just make it orange, okay? And uh, then if you want the text color, there's a text color somewhere. If it's not on here, it's in the, it's in the other. I don't usually use this, I have to admit, so just, oh, here's text color right here. So with the button selected, so click on the button there, and let's go to text color and click on that icon right there, and we can open up some of the stuff here, and let's just make it white, how about? So background white, light, select it, and there it is. So there's our button. So this is kind of the beginning of an app. We'll turn this into a social media app soon, but in the next video, I'll show you how you can, uh, how you can, run it on a physical device that you have in your pocket or on your table. It can be a physical device like a tablet or a phone or how you can use the emulator to build. So I'll see you in the next video.